Hey, what's up guys? So, I recently got a new tote bag from Gear Ranch, Amazon. And I went ahead and rearranged my tools. This is uh, what I have here for uh, line maintenance for an uh, aircraft mechanic. So I'm gonna show you guys what my tote bag looks like. I'll start off with my headsets here. I've got two headsets. One so I can talk to the crew and one just so I can have ear protection. I usually put those in the handle here. I'll start off with the side bags here and then the other side and then this one and this one and then I'll go ahead and get to the good stuff. All right, so on this side, my bag, I have gloves, safety wire, and I have an assortment of little goods in here. Have a little mixture tool there for a mixing tool, the batteries for my headlamp, stream light, and I have this, I believe it's Olight or no, Phoenix headlamp there. That's what I have on this side. So I'll go ahead and put this back. I usually just put these gloves here, flip it around. All right, on this side, I've got a little, little box of Altoids for mints. No, I'm just playing. I've got an assortment of drill bits, uh, bits, easy outs, just an assortment of little bits that I need every now and then. Fits perfectly in there. This bag, I've got my Gerbert multi-tool. It's got like a Phillips in there, flathead, can openers. It comes in handy every once in a while. This one, I've got just one punch just in case I needed a punch. I've got the whole set in my other toolbox, but I have it in my my other toolbox at my other job. This is like a punch slash centering punch, I guess, or starting punch. I don't really care. I just use it to punch out things every once in a while. Got a adjustable here, small little six inch. Got two bit ratchet holder things. Come in handy every once in a while. Got an angled or a 15 degree one, I believe, and a straight straight one here. I've got snap-on ignition wrenches. These come in handy as well. These are all standard. I'm an aircraft mechanic and we usually use a standard for maintenance here. Some Airbus have some metric every once in a while as well. All right, that's there. It fits nice and perfectly in this pouch here. Go ahead and fix that after I'm done with this video. This next pouch, I have some small little dikes. Snap on. And these little dentist pliers, I guess, what you call this. These come in handy to hold stuff in place in tight spots when you can't hold it yourself with your fingers. All right, now we go to this side bag. I just got this bag like maybe a month ago, so I'm still trying to fix it up. I've got my wrenches here on a, on a diaper pin. These are blue point. I've got eight wrenches. Holds them in place, 5 sixteenths to 3 quarters. These are actually really good. I love these. These lasted me for a long time already. Had them for like six years. I've only broken one and I got it warranted from Snap-on. So that's this side pouch. Now we can go on to the next side pouch. And I don't have anything in here yet. I think I gotta put some pens in there or something some pants or picks. Maybe some picks will go in there pretty good. All right, now we get to the good stuff. So at the top, 
I'll go ahead and let's see how I do this. I'll go ahead and do this row and then this row and then I'll go in the center. All right, so in this row I have my sockets, my ratchets, and some angled wrenches. So I'll start off with this side. It's kind of hard doing this with one hand. I have my six wobbles here from Snap-on. These are the best set to get from Snap-on. Standard, I believe it's quarter inch to nine sixteenths, 12 point. Oh, ah. that sucks. It's happening in the video. Anyways, these are supposed to hold in place. And twist. Oh, I guess I twisted, twisted this one by accident, so we'll see. Uh, let's see here. Twist. Alright. Whatever. Sometimes they accidentally twist when I'm taking them in and out, so this is. Let's see. This is supposed to twist. There we go. Twist, come out. Snap on shallow socket set. I believe it's a nine piece socket set. Two or ten piece. Two, four, six, eight, ten. Ten piece. There we go. That's shallow and deep. Ten pieces. It's from Snap on. Standard. My two Snap on ratchets, quarter inch. Here's one, and here's a small one to get into tight places. I usually use this one. I've got four angled wrenches here. I have the whole set, but I guess I should bring them here to this tool bag, but they're in my other toolbox. All right, so that's this side. Well, I was gonna go on this side now, so I'll flip it around. All right, on this side, I have my screwdrivers, pliers. Uh, that's about it. So I've got my standard ratcheting screwdriver from Snap-on. I usually use this one. I've got a flathead and a Phillips. Again, I have the whole set of these, but they're in my other toolbox. Flathead here and a Phillips. They fit perfectly in there, side by side. And I've got my channel locks here snap on you can see they're all used up and I've got my nitpicks but these have a snap-on brand to them the only thing I don't like about this tool bag is that it's open and it's been raining these last few nights once in a while I forget I'm working out there and water gets all over the place so my tools have been getting some rest but I've, I've tried to clean them out and wipe them down, but it's all good. All right. Anyways, I got interrupted here, but I was going on with my other pliers. I've got Nita Nose here, and I love these dikes. These are, I think, seven inches long, small little dikes to get into tight places, cut safety wire or whatnot. And my big old, Safety wire pliers. These are 10 inches long, I believe. Snap on as well. Where's the snap on brand at here? Oh, here in the center. All right. I usually don't clip these together and snug it in there because I don't want the spring to wear out. So I just let this, this little spring. I just don't even clip it together. I just put them in there like this. All right, that's that side there, and then I'll go ahead and do the sides. All right, so I don't really use any 3-8 drive sockets or a 3-8 drive set at all, so I just have these few sockets there. Every once in a while I use them. So I have two, four, five sockets there that are 3-8 drives. On this side I have my extensions. I have my quarter inch assortment of extensions and I have a 3 8 extension that usually falls out of place in there but it's supposed to hold in place there and that's it on that side here 
put this back together. Again, it's kind of awkward doing this with one hand. But here comes the big stuff there. I've got my snap-on drill. You can see it's been worn out quite a bit. I've got my speed handle, snap-on as well. 3H drive. Got a mallet. Got a ball peen hammer, snap on. Got my Allen keys there. I hate the fact that these are not all quarter inch drive. I know they do make a set because I've seen them. Kind of regret getting them. Some are like three inch drive and quarter inch drives. I wanted them all as a quarter inch drive set. That would be perfect for, for my job. Again, I usually use a quarter inch drive, not three eighths. So it's kind of a pain in the ass to get a quarter inch drive ratchet. And then I have to put in a three, a step up. So basically a quarter inch three eighths adapter, which kind of sucks. I'm going to look for a set. See, my tools are starting to get rust a little bit just because it's been raining these last few nights and I accidentally got water inside. And then I've got more wrenches here. These are my favorite set here as well. I've got these are 3 8 7 16 snap on, half inch, 9 16 7 30 seconds, 9 30 seconds. Every once in a while, you find a little nut in there that you have to take out. This is, uh, what is this? Oh, 5 16 quarter inch, and then I've got a 11 16 and 13 16 It's a nice set there, very expensive. By the way, all right, that's pretty much it. That's my updated toolbox for 2024. Let me know what you guys think. See you guys.